If you're new here, my name's Amanda. Welcome. And if you've been here for a while, then welcome back. I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It's a small kitchen. The light's right above me, but it's kind of cloudy and gloomy right now, so there's not a, a lot of natural light coming in. But today I have part two of the deep clean, getting ready for the holidays video. So my plan is... I've got to tackle this kitchen and I've done these cabinets in the last um, video where I worked in the kitchen so those are still in decent shape I may have some things I need to move but those are good um, I want to get a hold of my stove top and I'll show you guys it it needs it it's it's bad especially the eyes that I cook on the most um, I need to get a hold of the wall that's behind you, I'll show. Um, I'm going to take those two cast iron skillets down and put them in the cabinet and have my husband hang that um, noodle board that used to sit over here behind me that my sister had made for me for Christmas. So I'm going to, he's going to hang that on the wall for me. And then I need to get a hold of the oven. We'll see. And the dreaded set of cabinets back there. Those you've never seen before. And there's a reason for that. That is like a storage cabinet. It's bad. It's bad. Um, and I want to wipe down all these cabinets around the stove. And my husband is also going to put me a shelf up. Um, I'll show you that too. You can't really see it where I have you but over here so I can set the uh, dehydrator on it because the dehydrator is kind of big so it doesn't fit in the cabinet easy and then I'm going to set my crock pot and instapot on it and the plugs right there so that'll be perfect but I've rambled on and tried to explain long enough hope it made sense so that is my plan we will see how much I get done in this video definitely these and I will I will show, yeah, yeah, that's just one side. Yeah, it's bad. I'll give you a close-up. It's, it's really bad. I need to go through, I need to clean, declutter, and organize it. So, that is my plan. So, I will show you the inside, and then we'll get started. Where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away
So guys, we come to my favorite part of the video where I share the devotion from the Daily Strength for Women devotional. And the title for this devotion is Constant Complaint. And the verse, verses are from Philippians 2, 14 to 16. And it reads, The temptation to complain or bicker can be overwhelming at times. Get a group of women together in a room and you can almost see the tension grow. She did this and it wasn't fair. He doesn't contribute the way he should. My life is hard for a multitude of reasons. The list can go on and on. Our complaints are often valid and true, but we miss the, we miss the joy that the Lord desires for us when we seek only the negative. This letter from Paul to the Philippians was written thousands of years ago, but it could just have easily been written today. We still lived in a warped and crooked generation. Let's shine like stars in the sky. Let us hold firmly to his word as we speak life to those around us. What complaints do you need to let go of today? And I wanted to share that with you guys. It's from a few days ago, but I chose to share it because, you know, when you're watching this video, it'll be Monday, the week of Thanksgiving. And as I was cleaning in the kitchen, I was wiping down the cabinets, as you'll see. It's easy to think, well, if these were new, you know, if I had this or if I had that, you start thinking these thoughts, especially if you social media and you know the world we live in today it's a constant comparing and it was like the spirit just spoke to me in one word and just said contentment and i had to repent for those thoughts of just like envy we should be content with what we have instead of looking at the negative just be thankful for that kitchen i'm thankful that stove cooks for my family it's I, it's a blessing and that's exactly how I want to look at it that's how we should look at everything we should be thankful for it all we could find thankfulness and joy in in everything honestly if we're honest about it and truly look so I hope that encouraged you guys I know it did me and I thank you for allowing me to share them so guys, I just, I decided to, well, I talked to my husband and he said it didn't matter to him, but I left this clip in, I was videoing and he was headed outside and he was acting silly. So I had a good laugh while I was editing this video. Doing nothing, that's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66 and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. Yeah. Nothing's complicated with you Hey, playing songs on the radio Sing along to the words that we don't know how Brings out the problems Let's just run away Yeah, I could drive the heart along Being with you is like being on the road Your heart brings out the problems I got a little crush on you 
So guys we're coming to the end of the video and um i thank y'all so much for being here i hope you enjoyed i'm getting used to it. my husband got me a new camera so i'm getting used to that so other than the batteries weren't lasting long so it may take me a couple of videos to get it figured out i appreciate your patience so much um i actually filmed the outro and forgot to turn the mic on so yeah i had to cut that but I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you. So I'll show you. Um, I was talking at the end here, but you couldn't hear me again. So, but I got the kitchen cleaned up, the stove cleaned, the living room cleaned up, and just ready for Thanksgiving. So, and this week also, I won't have a video out on my typical Thursday, with that being Thanksgiving Day. Um, I'm not really sure if I'll put one out Wednesday or Friday, but I'll. I'll make a commu community post about it, but I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It means more than you know. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I hope y'all have a blessed and joyous Thanksgiving, and Lord willing, we will see you in the next one. Be blessed.